farms document their work in one way or another. The advantages of digital documentation are found in the analysis of the collected data. And as we all know, after the harvest comes the next harvest, so there are a lot of decisions to be made for the next season. That's what I'd like to talk about with Manuela today. Manuela, what can I analyze today already with the operation center in the area of revenue? Well, Heiner, let's take a look at what kind of yield we had in winter wheat last harvest. You can see that in the operation center here. Oh, for example, in this overview, I can instantly see the total harvested area and the average dry yield. Yes, exactly. Let's take a closer look at the dry yield. This dotted line is my average yield on all plots. Then there are fields above this average yield and also fields below this average yield. And that's quite a statement. Let's analyze the varieties as well. Here you can see my varieties. These are all my winter wheat varieties. The last two are high protein varieties, so we won't put too much emphasis on them. But here is the first variety. It's a new one that I sowed last year. And to the average yield here, we have a variety with 7.6 tonnes on the hectare. That's an extra 1.4 tonnes per acre compared to my average. With a wheat price of 250 euros, I can get up to 350 euros per hectare more. Great. Winter wheat ready. Next analysis, corn. For corn, we've set up a trial in one field with three different varieties. Here is the map as it comes straight from the combine. I'll make this a little easier to see. What we also see here is an average yield of 11.7 .7 tonnes per hectare, which is great for my region. You're right. Looking at the legend, I see that the yield varies greatly from 7 to over 14 tonnes per hectare. That is an extreme variation. Yes, this data shows the natural heterogeneity of a stroke. There are factors I can influence, like a tillage or fertilization, and then there are factors like the soil or the weather that I can't influence. But the operations center definitely helps me analyze the factors that I can influence. Your best variety yields 12.8 tons per hectare. Yes, the average yield was 11.7, so that's 1.1 tons more per hectare, and with a corn price of 200 euros, I have 220 euros more per hectare here. Manuela, 350 euros more in winter wheat, 220 euros more in corn, and all through fact-based decisions. Operation center and data transfer free of charge. I'm up for that. Yes, and that's not all. In the operations center, I can analyze my combine's performance as well as this agronomic data. For example, I can see fuel consumption, throughput, and also productivity. And that's the advantage of combining smart machines with connectivity and fact-based decisions from the operations center. Now that's what I call a smart solution.